Steps were taken to implement the scheduled power cuts announced by the CEB starting from today. The CEB's regulatory body, the Public Utilities Commission, said that legal action will be taken against the move as it was implemented without permission. The Ceylon Electricity Board cut the power supply for three hours during the day and one hour at night as announced by the board. According to the schedule released by the CEB, the daytime brackets will be from 8.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m., 11.30 to 2.30 p.m. or from 2.30 to 5.30 p.m. During the night, power cuts have been scheduled in the following brackets from 6.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m., 7.30 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. or 8.30 to 9.30 p.m. <laughs> The Public Utilities Commission says that the Ceylon Electricity Board has not yet been permitted to implement a scheduled power cut. According to the Commission, permission must be obtained if the CEB is to implement scheduled power cuts. No permission has been sought from the Public Utilities Commission of Sri Lanka to implement these power cuts. We request the consumers to provide the Commission with information on the power cuts that they experience until the 18th of this month. The Commission hopes to file legal action against this move. There were proposals to construct power plants, like the Sampur power plant. We warn that there will be a power crisis by the year 2019 and 2020. Tenders for the construction of a 320 megawatt power plant in Keravalapitiya were opened in 2017. They have not even thought about constructing this power plant. The matter has been taken to court, but there is an annual increase of demand for power by 150 megawatts. That means every three to four years we must construct a 500 megawatt power plant. This capacity cannot be generated even through the hydropower plants, wind power plant and even through the Norochole power plant. Does the CEB have a plan to come out of this darkness? No. The only action they took was to purchase power at exorbitant rates from private power generators and line their pockets in the process. Otherwise, they implemented power cuts. Our question is, do you need a CEB just to cut off power? One generator that was bought when they saw this imminent power crisis has been fixed on the ground. We asked them if they at least have a plan for the next year. No, they do not have a plan for the upcoming year. Okay. Meanwhile, a discussion on the power crisis was held at the Ministry of Power and Renewable Energy today. The dry season and the drought paved the way to purchase power from private power plants that are owned by their friends. Water is scarce and this results in insufficient hydropower generation. Therefore, to fill in the shortfall, power is being purchased from private power plants to exorbitant prices. The connection between the CEB and these private power plants is no secret. For four years, not a single power project proposed during my cabinet tenure has been approved yet. What's the reason for this? It's a competition between commissions. The competition is within the government, so we are compelled to proceed with emergency power purchases. This will result in the increase of power prices. Power will only be generated when there is rainfall. If so, why do we need a government in the first place? Yeah,